Hi there, my name is Sarkis Nersessian. I'm the pastor here at Indian Valley Assembly of God in Stony Ford, California, and I want to welcome you to today's quick overview on uh, the Old Testament. So there's a lot of questions people have whether or not we should study the Old Testament. The church, in fact, is divided uh, on that matter. Some churches just teach on the New Testament, avoiding the Old Testament completely. Uh, some teach the whole counsel of God, so on and so forth. So the, the question is, should we study the Old Testament? And if so, why or why not? And I think these are very important questions, and I'm going to go over a couple points, and each of these points we can take weeks to study them out. However, because I'm only going to give you an overview of five to six minutes, what I would encourage you to do is maybe get a notebook and write down some of these points that maybe you're wrestling with and search out the matter to see if it be true or, you know, be a Berean, see and check for yourself what scriptures have to say rather than uh, your opinion because there's two things uh, it is said that God leaves out of the Bible that's your opinion and my opinion so we want to know what God thinks about the Old Testament and and why we should study it now the Old Testament is comprised of uh, a series of books um, starting from Genesis and going uh, forward and even part of what we consider uh, the New Testament is actually Old Testament because the New Testament begins at the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So all these books then comprise of uh, his historical narratives of things that have taken place, like the creation story in the book of Genesis, in Exodus, uh, people leaving uh, Egypt, uh, the Israelites leaving Egypt and heading to a promised land. Now, as if you're a born again Christian, you yourself have left Egypt, haven't you, spiritually speaking, and we are all headed to that promised land. So it's a beautiful, beautiful story. But the question is, should we study it? I mean, they're great stories, don't get me wrong. Maybe they're great references, but is it something for a study? Well, th uh, that is uh, actually a really good question that I want to share something with you here. Let's say I give you this gift, this iPhone uh, I think it's an 11 or 12, something like that. And and I give you this iPhone, but you don't put a data plan on it. Well, if you don't put a data plan on it, then this phone is not being used to the fullest of its potential. Now, I paid for this, right? Uh, somebody had to pay for this for you to have it, and yet you're not using it for, to the fullest of uh, the potential that it has. And so, um, and, and, and that's why... If we don't study the Old Testament, we're really not understanding and getting a clear picture of who Jesus Christ is. Because, after all, we are saved by faith, right? And and not by works. But without the Old Testament, you know, we don't understand why our works are so necessary. And Paul writes about that, that um, your works are necessary. So, so we need to understand the why behind the things that Jesus did. But again, is it something Jesus himself considered to be important? And I think that's a very important question we need to answer right now. So let me share uh, my screen with you. I'm going to share a couple points, uh, a couple things, in fact, that Jesus spoke about. And here in Matthew chapter 5, 17, um, this is... Sorry, I'm having internet problems here. Okay, Matthew chapter 5, 17. Do not think, Jesus says, that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. Wow, that's incredible right there. And then in Luke chapter 24, verse 44 to 45, look what Jesus says. Then he said to them, these are my words. I want you to really pay attention to that jesus is pointing these words to himself and he says that i spoke to you while i was still with you that everything written about me in the law of moses and the prophets and the psalms must be fulfilled then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and likewise i think it's very very important that you consider the old testament as an important part of your study of the whole bible because Jesus himself referred to it. In the desert, uh, in the 40 days, uh, in the desert, 
he used scripture when he was being tempted in the desert. So may the Lord God bless you and keep you. May his countenance shine upon you. And may the grace and the goodness of God continue to flow through you. God bless you all and thank you.